today's question is what are the causes of cold hands and cold feet mm -hmm. yes that's uh, actually can be a really important question people with renowned disease for example or people with foot circulation can have this problem as a chronic one which can last sometimes for years we try different medication we try doctors and try to investigate like what is going on official position of the medicine that is that uh, for example renal disease is incurable and whereas at the same time uh, i know because i had students with severe problems with cold hands and feet some people cannot even fall asleep without having the hot water bottles you know near their feet because they just having cold feet is can be such a debilitating problem that we cannot fall asleep at night when we go to sleep so what are the problems here the circulation problem relates to actually carbon dioxide and that means that if people hyperventilate and that present is more than 97 99 percent of modern population according to medical studies like i have and if you open normalbriefing.com right on the home page i have nice brain image so we can show actually brain image right here so this brain image shows two brains one brain on the left side relates to normal breathing on the right side we have brain after one minute of hyperventilation and that means that um, on the left side we have image of the brain during normal breathing at, at this uh, situation we have a high level of co2 or normal level of co2 and that allows dilation or normal circulation blood flow to the brain but also to extremities because hands and feet we also get blood supply due to vasodilation or expansion of arteries and arterioles where co2 is known as a most potent vasodilator and therefore when people hyperventilate and we have brain image on the right here showing vasoconstrictive effects so there is reduced blood flow about two times due to uh, voluntary hyperventilation most people don't hyperventilate that heavy they just breathe let's say two or three times more than the medical norm but that is already enough to dramatically reduce blood flow to extremities therefore we get cold hands and feet and this is by far would be the most important central cause of having cold hands and cold feet so therefore hyperventilation or heavy breathing is number one cause of uh, having cold hands and feet the practical observation that i've seen in hundreds of my briefing students is following when we start to do uh, but take a reduced breathing exercise or practice with devices we notice that we actually hands and feet become warm in about one two minutes and therefore if you go on youtube or you can search online you can find web pages you can write uh, how to warm up cold hands cold feet with breathing exercise you can find several websites web pages where this exercise is explained it's very simple it's called reduced breathing exercise or people can use devices some as draft uh, for love device diy device which can be used to increase co2 level to slow down breathing pranayama five breath by sika when we are done correctly we also increase co2 level because people ventilate less air we, and therefore we get improved circulation and improved oxygenation of the extremities and other uh, as well as vital organs of the human body so therefore number one cause of having again chronically cold hands and feet is hyperventilation and this problem can be solved with breathing exercise temporarily but in order to solve it to have a permanent solution a cure or a treatment which allows to completely get rid of this symptom is to retrain breathing pattern because once a person slows down the breathing back to the medical norm imagine like we have a person with cold hands and feet and we have ventilation breathing rate two three times more than the norm we slow down the breathing it may take some weeks sometimes months of time um, lifestyle physical exercise breathing exercises to do then uh, when we achieve up to usually up to 20 seconds for the body oxygen test is enough for people for most people to get rid of cold hands and cold feet completely but some people may require a little bit high numbers 25 30 seconds and then we don't have this problem at all so we get also better sleep much more energy improved digestion and many other positive effects now additional cause of cold feet for myself that's something that i suffered for for, for a lot of years and then looking up uh, the reduced breathing exercises that you uh, uploaded 
um, getting that experience, that one, two, three minutes from feeling really uncomfortable of having all my uh, hands and cold feet and then getting the uh, warmer limbs. It, was, uh, it also helped uh, motivate me to, to continue my practice. So that was a great uh, experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, absolutely. As I mentioned, actually, when I teach my students, uh, it's one of the three central factors uh, of correct doing briefing exercises, especially Boutique reduced briefing exercise, because I always ask my students uh, and tell them that when we do exercise correctly, the reduced briefing exercise, which require nothing, is like central part of the meditation exercise and so on, to slow, slow down your breath. Uh, in about one minute time, very fast, most students with cold hands and feet, even weather was cold, or maybe room is not cold, or we came having cold hands or cold feet, or both of them, they're able in one minute time to get a sensation of a pleasant sensation of warmness in their hands and feet. Some people, though, I had people who had right now disease, who had years of severe problems with cold hands or cold feet, or both of them. We would need a little longer time in order to get sensations. There are actually some students who would require maybe up to one, two weeks time of briefing retraining before we experience this positive effect. But eventually, yes, it's of course possible to retrain breath and that allows people to have normal circulation, normal blood flow to the extremities and having again pleasant sensation of warmness in the extremities.